please subscribe to the channel thank you welcome to free online tech videos my name is Ravi in this video session we are going to see about find command how find command works and using the find command what we can do here so basically find command is used to search the content inside the Linux or Unix like operating systems where you can find the content based on the file name based on the username group name or also modified uh, based on the modified time or uh, based on the uh, maybe like uh, we can also use this find command to change the permissions of the files or remove some content older than some days all the stuff you can do that using the find command but how you are going to do in in Linux just uh, have this uh, look how find command works okay if you type just find command within the same directory how many files are there including the hidden files and its uh, directory so everything is shown here so I have this file content and hidden files including all the files and I have also three directory structures over here insert the directory and the directory and the directory and insert some files these files and uh, so in this we are going to see how the find command works okay I also have the different different file properties okay you can see that uh, one of the user has user group and different users and different permissions different file file types okay all the stuff I have set up for this command to uh, do show you a practical scenario here so example say that find uh, I wanted to find within this directory itself dot in a sense the same directory so I'm looking for sample dot txt file sample dot txt file I'm using the name or name option so sample dot directory I can see that if I in the same scenario if I type yes so there is a sample dot txt is there but s capital s is not there so the scenario is that it is the capital letter we have in the sense case sensitive so to ignore the case sensitive what we can do that add i name so that if you type in capital letter if you type in small letter no problem it will search for the small letters and big letters as well but if you do not use i name if you use only name which means that exactly the match which is the capital letters small letters everything but if you use i name which will match the ignore the case sensitive and match the content that is the find command do you can also find the uh, using the i name based on something like i wanted to find uh, all the txt files you can also use wildcard character star so which will use all the txt files within the same directory under the uh, all the directories also see that it went under the depth two depths like for directory under the directory under that files it finds all the txt files if you search for uh, doc files doc files there are some doc files also like this you can find all the files if you want to look or remove some files based on your searching okay example say find I wanted to search in the current directory and uh, there is no case sensitive name and uh, I would like to say that sample dot uh, txt let's find sample.txt file name and execute rm command rm i i which will ask you for the confirmation and close that window over here enter and what is say x is missing some argument so now which is asking you for regular file delete do you want to delete it if you say yes then it will delete i say no i don't want to delete that file in the same way if you can search for some empty files find in the same scenario i would like to use i name or uh, i don't want to use i name so i just use the string called empty 
so what are the empty files are there it is finding so the sample.txt has some text so it does not find over here it all the these are the files which are empty nothing is there in that just a text file con text files no content available in that file okay like that you can use that file that option to use the empty one empty files find out the empty files and if you don't want empty files in your system you can pass that to uh, exe command execute so that it will remove the all the empty files so i wanted to find some file names based on the type okay based on the type iphone f in the sense the type is file i wanted to use the type is file f in the sense file then the name i am using sample.txt txt then in this file i would like to search for some content okay i find that here and i'm using some grep command to find the string called free okay see this it find the free okay i also have the find over here sorry it's find see this find command like that i have content some content over here but out of it i want to search that file and i'm gripping that file content using the multiple commands passing to the same string the same find command okay in the same way if you want to find out only the directories find dot iphan type directory is type d iphan i name the name is file there are some directories so which are the directories is file file one file 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 two there are directories like this it finds the directories based on the like there are so many stuff here over here but i want only directories you can also use permissions okay uh, perm is the term terminal option okay you can use triple um, seven over here so what are the files has triple seven permissions that can be listed over here okay in a simple way you can also see that the file six as and file seven also has this triple uh, seven permissions see it has triple seven permissions and it is listed over here this is the simple method you can use to find out in the same way in the permissions if you want to use okay not triple seven permissions i wanted to find which are not triple seven other than that all display all the permissions so in this file 6 and file 7 is exempted excluded see this file 6 and file file 7 and file 6 are excluded and shown remaining like that you can find the files based on the permissions also the permissions you can also give uh, not only the numeric values you can also pass the values as users group like u g o a all the stuff okay so for this more information you can also look my ch mode command to understand this what is this u and uh, all the stuff okay u iphone s plus s in the sense user special permissions if you have any find out no i don't have any so user permissions equal to read only what are the files has read only permissions are what are the files has execute permissions okay like that what are the uh, files are all the files as execute permissions so the special permissions you can get that all the permissions based on you can use numbers you can use so many stuff okay see here my scenario is that i wanted to modify some files which are triple seven in permissions i wanted to modify their permissions to seven double five something like that 
we can use find command dot and here I am using the option called permissions and I am searching for uh, 777 and I am passing that output to the XCE and uh, saying that chmod modify those file permissions to 755 and close this command. Now you can see that all the 777 permissions has been modified to 755 before it was 777 now it is 755 okay in the same way if you want to return it back so i wanted to use 7552 again 777 okay see this so the files has been go back to the same permissions example same I would like to find the content in multiple locations find and say I wanted to find under slash uh, TMP I wanted to find the content under current directory you can also use I name and sample dot txt whether so it finds out the all the stuff maybe I do not have some permissions to um, read that temporary path which is created by the other users or root users so that's why it's giving me permission denied so the find command you better to run always from the root user so it will avoid the permission denied issue if you want to delete some empty files you can also do that or uh, same same way like pass that um, to the find command pass type to the empty okay iphone type f iphone empty and i wanted to delete those files rm iphone or i wanted to move those files to slash tmp then so you can move it if you already have it says overwrite something like that so i don't want to do it so all the files has been moved it cannot be overwritten something like that see the files has been moved from this location to that location like that you can use this to find out or print something like that you can also pass the same command to the uh, remove options okay I would like to delete some files empty files or I wanted to delete some files which are only matter about dot txt over here so dot txt I have f and I wanted to remove those files do not ask any confirmation so the, all the dot txt files has been deleted in the same way you can also find out slash uh, user who are the users are there example they the which are the files has uh, root permissions you can find out maybe I, I don't want to give that slash because there are so many files okay here oh maybe I deleted the files that's okay so here and I wanted to find out some files which are uh, users are Aravi or the group is Aravi or based on the size example say I wanted to find out the files or size in uh, more than 10 MB in size okay there are no files maybe 1 MB in size so there are some files like that you can find out using the find command you can also use example say I don't want to search in depth of each and every directory I wanted to search only max depth is uh, one depth in the sense one inside one directory only searches not inside the directory inside the directory okay uh, I'm using I name and uh, there is a files inside our 
I would like to search for star dot txt or else you can also use depth 2 or else you can also use depth 3 no files there was some files okay that's okay so like that you can use the file name or you can also use some I name yeah like this you can use or sometimes you wanted to find out no user in the sense which do not have users in the sense are found users the users may be deleted okay and the group may be deleted for some files then I wanted to find out all so you can use this no user no group so that you can find out those files and you can delete those files which are makes no sense to the Linux you can do that so this all the steps you can do that there are so many integrations you can combine with uh, xargs or exec okay i will show you one example over here using the um, xargs is the last option maybe so you can say that uh, what are the permissions as they are triple seven i would like to modify to seven double five using the xargs so this is our the thing it will modify see this this is the file which is modified like that you can use the find command to find out your files and directories based on access time okay there are some other commands also you can use uh, for uh, access the files which are modified uh, last 10 minutes last one minute like that based on this m time you can use m time in the sense modified time a time in the sense accessed time within 10 minutes what are the files are accessed okay or maybe you can use uh, modified time plus 10 minutes or minus 10 minutes in the sense within more than 10 minutes and within 10, within 20 minutes we can also do that or you can also use m minutes or a minutes example say what are the files are accessed what are the files are modified within this time of period you can use that command also to find out such a stuff thanks for watching stay tuned for more updates Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.